Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you the 10 critical steps that must take place for you to go from being single to entering the most fulfilling relationship of your life so far. Stick with me. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life tv.com space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of quality man you want as a result of stepping into the most alive feminine version of you without the need of manipulation gimmicks and games now this steps that i'll be sharing with you right now this 10 master steps these essential steps are part of what i've used when i've helped someone regardless of her age size color shape background, spiritual understanding, or lack thereof to go from being single to creating an amazing relationship. Step number one is ultimate responsibility for your life. Owning, stepping into the realization that wherever you are in your life right now, regardless of the past, regardless of the players, regardless of the villains, regardless of any wrongdoing from other human beings, you and only you can change it. You are the ultimate responsible human being for your life and whether it's seeking out help or doing what you need to do, you have an ability to change the past, not based on going back and changing things, but changing the past in terms of what it means to you, how strong you can be as a result from it, and how you can alter the future based on your current day-to-day -day assumptions, decisions, and courage. So that's the first thing, that grounding understanding that you can change things and that only you are responsible for affecting the change that you want. Step number two is the realization, the belief, the understanding that your passion and fulfillment in life are the grounding space and the seed for the kind of relationship you can attract. Let me make a strong emphasis on this one. This means that the quality of relationship you can step into is going to be directly proportional to the level of life that you have as you enter that relationship. What does that mean? That if you're seeking a relationship primarily to fill a void, because your life is kind of iffy right now, it kind of sucks, it's lacking depth, it's lacking meaning, it's lacking understanding, it's lacking passion, that you will only be able to sustain something similar in a relationship and that it may be a root for stepping into a codependent relationship because you're trying to suck the light of that human being to fulfill yourself because you're not doing it on your own. So if your passion and fulfillment are the seed of that powerful relationship that you can create, then you start investing into your awesomeness, into your greatness, into your passion, into your excitement, into finding meaning, contribution, into figuring out what it is that you want to do and how you want to do it. <clears throat> so that you now have a chance to create it with someone else and to expand upon it with someone else instead of making up for your shortfallings through using someone. Third step is you need to get clear on what you want. And getting clear on what you want goes beyond getting a piece of paper and writing a hundred attributes of what you're looking for in a partner. It goes into being able to clearly know what are the most important, the most essential, the show-stopping things that or that you'll move away from should you not get them. And that's step number three. Step number four is you need to be equally clear on who, my dear, you need to become to be an absolute resonant match to that human being that you're seeking. Because coming up with the first list is easier than the second one. Because typically somebody comes up with a list and says, well, already I am that ideal partner. I'm just missing that partner in real life. If you were the ideal partner, you'd have the ideal partner right now. Let me set that clear. So. I'm not saying that you have to change significantly to get it. There might be a couple of small areas, but without which you're not going to get what you want. So being able to get clear on what you want and also clear on who you need to become and then step into it. Do what you must do so that you are the resonant partner that's a counterbalance to that which you're seeking. You're seeking a strong masculine man will be the feminine, open, radiant source of light that that man is seeking, right? You want somebody who is generous in his giving well you need to be generous to receiving and also generous in giving so you have to figure out what's the correct match to that what you're seeking step number five is you need to master the art and it is an art of opening and closing with an emphasis on opening more than you were opening before if you were closed and on closing more 
than you were doing before if you were just fully open to anyone. So what does this mean? It means that if you were previously close with a close heart, not allowing anyone into your heart, you're going to step up five degrees forward and open your heart more with the ability to close it should you need to. So you open your heart more than you used to. If a guy shows up and he wants to go deeper without your consent, he wants to connect with you sexually without connecting with you emotionally, he wants to ask things of you without earning the right to ask those things of you, then you close, move away, and move forward. If you were primarily open to everyone before, that means that you become more selective as to who you open your heart to. So that's step number five. Now, you are going to have to, to step into the next powerful uh, stance to be able to move forward with opening and closing, which is setting strong boundaries. That's step number six. You learn to set strong boundaries. So what does that mean? That means that you're able to decide what it is that you want and to voice out clearly and without guilt, here's what I need to move forward or this is too much, or this is too soon, or I'm not comfortable with that, or I'm only comfortable if, or it's not yet, uh, it's, it's not time yet. So anything that you need in a relationship, any dialogue that you need to uh, step into, that, that you courageously step into it, even if you're scared, even if your voice is shaking, to honor the, the space that, that you need so that you can get what you want. If you don't set strong boundaries, then you won't be able to go forward in any of the following steps. Step number seven is you create more opportunities for openings. Why? Because if you've mastered all the previous steps and you're a radiant goddess sitting in your living room waiting for someone to knock on your door, let me just tell it to you right now straight, sister, it's not going to happen. But if you put yourself out there more, once you've mastered this for first these few steps, not before, once you've mastered the steps and you put yourself out there, you create openings, you drop the handkerchief, you allow guys to connect with you, to ask you out, then you have a chance of selection, of being able to choose between different options of who's showing up strong. And step number eight, you start dating non-exclusively. What does that mean? That means that you're not going to be anyone's girlfriend until and unless you've gone through the path of knowing this man, understanding that his intentions are similar to yours, that his vision of life is similar to yours, that his intentions and his actions are a match, and that he's able to do the things he needs to do consistently, not just once, not just the first week, not just the first month. So that means you're gonna have to wait way to have sex, way to be exclusive, way to introduce to family. I mean, you have to wait longer, but the opportunities get stronger. It means it's more meaningful when it happens and it reduces risk at the same time. Next step, which is step number nine, is you need to develop a strong friendship with the man that you're connecting with so that you have the ability to select who is the best choice for you. If you don't have a strong friendship or a friendship to begin with, the rest of the relationship stands no chance of developing. The friendship portion is the, is the house of the relationship. If there's chemistry and no friendship, it's not a solid house. If there's uh, knowing and understanding without friendship, there's not a solid house. You need to develop that friendship and friendship takes time. Step number 10 is you need to make a choice of among the guys that are now showing up in your life, among the guys who are interested in what you want, among the guys who are saying, be my girlfriend, please be with me. You need to make a choice based on two things, the way you feel about the man, but also based on the way the man shows up in your life and based on facts. So you make a choice based on facts and feelings, not just one or the other, just facts. You might connect with someone who's a brother of yours, but unnecessarily feels passion with you, or just feelings. You might connect with someone that you have a strong chemical connection with, hormonal connection with, but zero sustainability. So you'd use both. I can't tell you how many women reach out to me because they are now at the aftermath, the tsunami that ensued after they connected with a guy, opened their hearts widely to him because they felt the chemistry, but there was no accountability. There was was very little um, shared meaning in terms of future. There was no sustainability from him to be able to actually do the things he needs to do to create safety in the relationship. So they now got attached to someone who's not good for them. You don't want that to be the case. So you need to make a decision based on two things. I'll give you an 11th step, which is recognize that you're just starting. Once you start that relationship, recognize that now you're just starting a new cycle, which is deepening the relationship, understanding that partner and an ever ending study of how relationships work so that you can make yours a masterpiece. Hope this is helpful, useful, insightful to you. If it is, three things 
I'll ask you right now, if you're so generous, number one, click like or, uh, or thumbs up on this video. That way uh, more people can view it. Two, subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes. Thing number three, there's a two-part thing on thing number three. One, if you want to go deeper, deeper than this short video into understanding how to enter the best relationship of your life, I created a masterclass on the first line on the description of this video. Click on that link. You'll be taken to a page where you enter your name and email, and then you'll start watching this masterclass for free. If you're watching this video and you're saying, Burn, I get the steps and they make so much sense in my head, the steps in principle and the steps in action are two universes apart. Stepping into the steps is far more difficult and challenging than understanding them. And I agree with you and you want my help, reach out. Second link in the description of this video is a place where you can apply to work with me. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out. We'll set a time to connect. And if we end up hitting it off, then I might invite you to work with me. Hope this is helpful, insightful and useful. And if it is, have an amazing life, put it to work and stop uh, stop thinking that love is not possible for you. Love is possible. It just requires more understanding, more insight, more help sometimes than you've gotten in the past.